Hey, we're Matthew and Kevin from Living Tesla, and this is part of our printer farm that normally makes 3D printed accessories for Tesla vehicles. But about a week ago, we were approached by some healthcare professional friends asking if we could print PPE for them. So we've been making masks and shields ever since then, and we've gone through a few different designs. So the first one we started with was the Prusa face shield, and they were the first to release their open source code for everybody else to start and use their printers to make face shields. This one takes about an hour and a half to print, uh, requires some form of elastic band to secure it to your head, and though it's a very nice and definitely the best 3D printed mask out there that we've dealt with, it just wasn't going to meet the need that we needed for the quantity that we needed. And so, went online, we found another one that became open source. This one's made by 3D Brixton. And this one is 45 minutes to print. And you can do two per bed, so it's every hour and a half, you get two pieces, but then you need to come back out here and reset the machine. And at night, there's nobody here to do that. So we figured we need to come up with our own solution to make this easier. So this is what we made. We call it the auto shield because it has a trick. The printer can push it off of the bed on its own and start over on the next one. It also prints in about half an hour. So we went from an hour and a half to 45 minutes to about half an hour. So between that and this being able to run all night long on its own, we've significantly increased our production capability. You know, we're talking a maximum of 18 a day versus almost 50 a day with these. So we're making this open source. We have the files available on our website, livingtesla.com slash COVID-19. The G code that we're running to be able to do this to automatically unload the printer, right now that's our printer specific. Thankfully, we use the most popular printer in the world. So that means a lot of people's printers can do this directly using our files but we'll also put our files out on GitHub so that anybody can take this and do the same thing with their printer. So we're looking to the community to make this available for everybody and we can all increase our production capability. So check out livingtesla.com slash COVID-19 for all the details.